The Canadian Hockey League is made up of three different leagues. You have the Quebec Major Junior League, the Ontario Hockey League, and the Western Hockey League. And each year, the CHL gives out an award, which is basically like their heart trophy. It's called the Canadian Hockey League Player of the Year Award. And about a week ago, I made a video taking a look back at the previous 10 Hobie Baker Award winners and seeing where they're at right now. And today, we're going to do the same thing, but for the CHL Player of the Year Award. And today's video is going to be a little bit extra special because we have a guest to help out with the video his youtube channel is odd man rush i'm sure a lot of you that are subscribed to me are probably already subscribed to him but if you're not make sure to click the link down in the description subscribe to his channel he makes awesome hockey content and today we're just going to be going back and forth talking about the previous winners of the chl player of the year award and taking a look at where they're at right now so with all that being said let's jump right into the video beginning with 2010 and that year the award was won by jordan eberly who is playing Playing for the Regina Pats of the Western Hockey League and Eberly had a ridiculous season 50 goals 56 assists for 106 points in 57 games in route to winning the CHL player of the year award but when it comes to Eberly I feel like not many people remember how good he was in junior but remember him for his world junior heroics for team Canada I know I certainly do that goal against Russia in the semi-finals to tie the game is one of the most memorable goals in Canadian hockey history but aside from that Eberly Eberly was a 22nd overall pick by the Edmonton Oilers in the 2008 NHL Draft, and after winning CHL Player of the Year, he was on the Oilers full-time the very next season. And he actually had a pretty strong rookie year with 18 goals and 25 assists for 43 points in 69 games. Eberly's sophomore season in the NHL in the 11-12 season would stand to be his best when he scored 34 goals and had 42 assists for 76 points, two points away from being a point-per-game player, throughout his career with the Oilers and now with the New York Islanders, he has never been able to get back to those totals, but has still carved himself out a pretty impressive NHL career. With six seasons of scoring 20 or more goals, and would have had seven this year had the season not got cut short because he had a pretty strong year for the Islanders. For the year 2011, we have Ryan Ellis. Though he is the only defenseman that I will be talking about in this video, Ryan Ellis's numbers certainly don't look out of place compared to the forwards on this list. The Canadian defenseman was able to put together a dominant final year in the juniors with the OHL's Windsor Spitfires during the 10-11 season, scoring an impressive 24 goals and 101 points in 58 games. This production was good enough to earn Ellis the CHL's 2011 Player of the Year award, which he could happily sit alongside his CHL Defenseman of the Year award, as well as a number of OHL awards. After winning this prestigious trophy, the Nashville Predators draft pick would spend the next two seasons bouncing between Nashville and their minor league affiliate, the Milwaukee Admirals, before earning a full-time spot on the Predators roster for the 13-14 NHL season. Since then, Ellis has become a strong two-way defenseman for Nashville, and arguably one of the league's most underrated D-men, becoming a vital piece of the franchise's core and scoring 70 goals and 252 points in 527 games, all with the Predators. Not only that, but Ellis also rocks one of the best bids in the entire National Hockey League. I mean, look at him. The guy's ready for the playoffs all year round. 2012, the award was won by Brendan Shinneman, who won it while playing for the Tri-City Americans of the Western Hockey League. The 2011-12 season was his fourth and final year with the Tri-City Americans, and he put up ridiculous totals, 134 points in 69 regular season games, and also 23 points in 15 playoff games for the Americans. Even though he was an undrafted player, those numbers and winning CHL Player of the Year was good enough to get him a shot in the National Hockey League even though it lasted for just 12 games, all of which were played in the 2014-15 season with Arizona. The two seasons prior, he spent in the American Hockey League for the Portland Pirates and had decent totals, but ultimately went to play pro full-time in Europe for the 2016-17 season and has had stints in the Swiss League, the KHL, and the Swedish Hockey League where he currently plays today. Next up is the 2013 winner, Jonathan Druan the first of four players this decade to win the award whilst playing in the QMJHL, Jonathan Druan had quite the stint in the juniors. 
playing alongside future NHLers like Nathan McKinnon and Martin Thurk, the Canadian forward was able to put together a 41-goal, 105-point year with the QMJHL's Halifax Mooseheads during the 12-13 season, a year which was capped off by the Mooseheads winning both the 2013 President's Cup as QMJHL playoff champions and the 2013 Memorial Cup as CHL champions. This standout season deemed Drouin worthy of receiving the CHL's 2013 Player of the Year award, and also led to Drouin being selected third overall in the 2013 draft by the Tampa Bay Lightning just a few months later. Drouin would then spend another year in the queue after winning the award, where he scored 108 points in 46 games, before joining the Tampa Bay Lightning's roster for the 14-15 season. The Canadian forward would spend three seasons in sunny Florida, before being traded to the Montreal Canadiens on June 15, 2017. The 25-year-old has spent the past three seasons in the Bleu Blanc et Rouge of Montreal, and though he is coming off an injury-riddled 1920 season, he has currently scored 67 goals and 209 points in 349 games during his six-year NHL career. Some might say he hasn't quite lived up to his potential yet, but I think he's Druan just fine. Get it? Druan doing? Thank you, thank you. I'm here all video. Moving on to the 24 team winner, Anthony Mantha, who won it while playing for Valdor in the 2013 14 season, which was his third and final full season with the team. I am local to Halifax, so I actually got to watch Anthony Mantha play a couple of times in his CHL Player of the Year award winning season when Valdor made the trip to Halifax. And man, did Anthony Mantha ever stand out amongst other players in that league. The quality of play he put on the ice at that age was pretty unreal. Definitely a lot better quality than the highlight package of him you're watching right now. Mantha finished the 14-15 season with 57 goals, 120 points in 57 games, and 24 goals in 24 playoff games for Valdor throughout that playoff run. Some unbelievable totals. Mantha was a first round pick by the Red Wings 20th overall back in 2013, and would play full time in the American Hockey League the following season where he put up 33 points, and then would finally get his first crack at the NHL in the 2015-16 season playing 10 games with the Wings. And since then, Mantha has continued to get better every single season coming off of back-to-back -back seasons with 24 or more goals this year he had his best point per game total of his career with 38 points in 43 games he definitely has a bright future in the nhl and was one of the lone bright spots for the red wings this season halfway through both the decade and this list now as we come to the 2015 winner connor mcdavid i mean did you expect anyone else to win it this year we are talking about our lord and savior here folks Considered one of, if not the best player in the entire hockey world right now, Connor McDavid was already showcasing his seemingly godlike production during his time in the juniors, going over a point per game in each of his three seasons in the OHL, en route to scoring 285 points in 167 games. His 44 goal, 120 point year with the OHL's Erie Otters during the 14-15 season, was all the CHL needed to see in order to crown McDavid the recipient of their Player of the Year award, which McDavid could neatly place next to his CHL Top Draft Prospect award, his two CHL Scholastic Player of the Year awards, as well as his large number of OHL awards. The Canadian forward's outstanding play would soon translate into a first overall selection in the 2015 draft by the Edmonton Oilers, where McDavid has taken his game to the next level, having played in five NHL seasons all with the Oilers, currently serving as the captain of the franchise, as well as being named a two-time Art Ross Trophy winner, a two-time Ted Lindsay Award winner, a Hart Memorial Trophy winner, and currently sitting at 162 goals and 469 points in just 351 games. Yeah, this kid is a pretty good hockey player. 
They don't call him McJesus for nothing, do they? 2016, the award was won by Mitch Marner, who played for the London Knights of the Ontario Hockey League. And after being drafted fourth overall in the 2015 draft by the Maple Leafs, Marner would return to junior to play one more year with the London Knights in the 15-16 season. He finished the 15-16 season with 39 goals and 77 assists for 116 goals in 57 games, and also had an even more impressive 44 points in 18 play playoff games en route to the London Knights winning the Memorial Cup to go along with Mitch Marner's CHL Player of the Year award. The following season, Marner was a full-time member of the Maple Leafs and had an immediate impact with 61 points in 77 games, but was ultimately outshined by fellow Leafs rookie Austin Matthews who won the Calder Trophy for Rookie of the Year. Since then, Marner has gone on to have a super impressive NHL career with 291 points in 300 career games and is one of the most exciting forwards to watch in the entire National Hockey League. And he's one third of the Maple Leafs Big Three that consists of himself, Austin Matthews, in John Tavares. Penultimately from me, we have the 2017 award winner, Alex Dabrinkat. The only player that I'm discussing to not be selected in the first round of the NHL draft, Alex Dabrinkat has certainly made the teams that slept on him look like chumps. Despite standing at just 5 feet and 7 inches tall, Dabrinkat never let his lack of size stop him from becoming a dominant force in the major junior system, as he scored over 100 points in every season for a total of 332 points in just 191 games. After going 39th overall in the 2016 draft to the Chicago Blackhawks, thanks to a 101 point year during the 15-16 season, Dabrinkat decided to spend another season in the juniors with the OHL's Erie Otters and somehow managed to kick things up even higher. The American forward scored an incredible 65 goals and 127 points in just 63 games during the 16-17 season, en route to winning both the 2017 J. Ross Robertson Cup as OHL playoff champions, as well as the CHL's 2017 Player of the Year award. Following his goal a game, two point a game domination of the juniors, Dabrinkat joined the Chicago Blackhawks roster for the 17 18 season and has played with the team ever since scoring 87 goals and 173 points in 234 NHL games. He also signed a three-year, $19 million contract earlier this season. So not only is the 22-year-old putting up points on the board, he's also putting money in the bank. See? Being a hockey player isn't that bad, is it, folks? Moving on to 2018, we have Alex Beret Boulet, who won the award as a member of the Armada in the 2017-18 season. He put up some super impressive totals with 116 points in 65 games and 27 points in 19 playoff games. He is an undrafted player, but was scooped up by the Tampa Bay Lightning after his award-winning year. Beret Boulet has actually been playing extremely well in the American Hockey League over the past two seasons. His rookie year, he had 34 goals and 68 points in 74 games, and this season before the stoppage had 56 points in 60 games. He really could potentially turn out to be a hidden gem for the Tampa Bay Lightning as if they needed any more on that absolutely stacked team, albeit he is only 22 years old and has only played two pro seasons in the AHL, so far so good. And finally, last but certainly not least, the winner of the 2019 award, Alexei Lafreniere. The most recent player to receive this prestigious award, Alexei Lafreniere is certainly showing the makings of a future superstar in the NHL. Considered by most to be the undisputed first overall pick of the upcoming 2020 draft, Lafreniere didn't take long to burst onto the junior scene as both a star player and a top scorer notching 37 goals and 105 points in 61 games with the QMJHL's Ramuski Oceanic during the 18-19 season. This strong sophomore year in the league was more than enough to help the 17-year-old forward capture the 2019 CHL Top Player Award. Not only that, but the Canadian could well take home the trophy again this year, 
as the recent 1920 season saw Lafreniere back with Ramuski and improve his production to even greater levels, since he scored 35 goals and 112 points in just 52 games. With numbers like that, whoever gets this kid at the draft will be a very lucky team indeed. Let's just hope they can speak good French though. You know what these Quebec hockey players are like. I appreciate you having me on for this video, Nyquist. Hopefully you guys watching enjoyed a bit of a European twist to your usual programming, and you check out my channel if you want to see more. Thanks again, guys. That is going to do it for today's video. I really hope you guys did enjoy. Like I said at the start, be sure to go down in the description, click the link, and subscribe to Odd Man Rush's channel. He makes awesome hockey content. I had a lot of fun making this video with him. And if you guys did enjoy today's video, please make sure to go down there and drop a like on it. And if you are new to the channel and you have not already, make sure to hit that subscribe button if you want to see more awesome hockey content like this. And I will see you guys all in the next video.